Paul McCartney and John Lennon's relationship did not finish on good terms. While they had moved on from the animosity of the late 1960s and early 1970s, they never regained the level of camaraderie they had when they first met. According to Cynthia, Lennon's first wife, McCartney was one of only a few individuals he liked. McCartney and Lennon met at a church celebration in 1956. While their relationship began with their mutual love of music, they quickly learned they had a lot in common. Their musical bond only grew stronger as they gained trust. Cynthia stated that while Lennon had numerous acquaintances, there were only a few people he loved and trusted. McCartney became one of their confidants. Paul was one of the three people John was closest to, Cynthia writes in her book John. Although he had plenty of cronies, he only really let his guard down with Paul, me, and Stuart Sutcliffe. According to Cynthia, before Lennon and McCartney became so close, the latter tried to resemble his older bandmate. In those days, Paul tried hard to impress John, posing and strutting with his hair slicked back to prove that he was cool, because John was very much the leader, writes the author. It was his band, and he made the final decision on who got in and who didn't, as well as what they played. Then he was everything Paul desired, relaxed, confident, and in command. Paul could only aspire to those things while still a schoolboy. However, their dynamic gradually grew more equal. As the two became closer, this changed, she wrote. John saw Paul's musical ability and believed he could learn from him. Paul responded by gaining confidence, and they began to share decisions and finally ran the group together. As the two grew closer, this changed, she stated. John saw Paul's musical ability and believed he could learn from him. Paul responded by gaining confidence, and they began to share decisions and finally ran the group together. Cynthia thought Lennon was more of a band leader than McCartney was. Still, she didn't believe her husband would have achieved such high levels of success without his bandmate. McCartney had the determination required to earn recognition. On his own, Lennon didn't. I don't think John had the faintest idea at 19 that he would be rich or successful, or even hoped for it in the same way that some people hope to win football pools, Cynthia remarked in Ray Coleman's book Lennon, The Definitive Biography. Paul was a diligent student, while John was not. He was just content doing anything he pleased. He was carefree. She was unsure if he would have become a musician without McCartney's guidance. He would have ended up as a bum, it's difficult to say today, given what occurred, but he wouldn't have cared that much, she explained. I'd have gone to work, he'd have no qualifications because he was failing art college, and Mimi would have pushed him in all ways.